pictures, and home videos. Good memories. Good memories of mom and brother mean the world to Kayla Riker <laughs> because her last memory of them is unbearable. I will always remember my mom laying on the ground, blood pouring out as the person who just shot her runs by me. Reichert was seven years old that day. She relived this trauma last December in court, reading out her child therapy diary at Alexander Pagosian's resentencing. Pagosian's convicted of first degree felony murder in her mother, brother, and three other people's killings. I don't know if I'm more shocked, angry. Just days ago, Reichert got a letter from the Department of Corrections saying Pagosian applied for the Juveniles Convicted as Adults Program, or JCAP. If approved, he'll be eligible to apply for early parole in a few years. I wasn't even given the chance to take a breath and cope. The district attorney's against it too, telling us his heart goes out to the victim's loved ones who have suffered so much all at the hands of this defendant and now have to deal with the prospect that a mass murderer may be released on parole. Now, Pagosian's attorney has a different perspective. He tells us the jury in this case convicted Mr. Pagosian of felony murder, which means the jury found he was present when the offenses occurred, but specifically he didn't cause the deaths of any of the victims. He also says Alex Pagosian was a child when these offenses occurred and he deserves the protections afforded to him by the Supreme Court. To call him a child when I was sitting there at seven years old watching my mom die. That was a child and he took that away from her at that moment.